Welcome back to the Native Speaker Experience. Here we're going to look at comparing and contrasting the data in pie charts. Here we're going to see two pie charts describing iPad usage among boys and girls in US high schools in 2013. The pie chart on the left shows the, num the percentage of girls using iPads in certain classes. These classes include English, Maths, Geography, History, Business and Computers. The same applies here for the boys using iPads in the same classes. Just to explain the logic, in this one on Maths you can see that 35% of the boys who attend Maths class use iPads as part of their class. Over here we see that only 6% of the girls who attend the class use iPads in class. That means 6% of these girls use iPads and the other 94% of girls do not. Over here, 35% of boys use iPads in maths class and the re remainder do not. Now, the kind of sentence we want to focus on is this one. Whereas the number of US male students using iPads in maths class is quite substantial, at 35%, comma, the number of girls in the same category is significantly lower at 6%. Now, this sentence is quite long and it nets 30 words. That's 20% of the IELTS report done and dusted in one sentence. We often tell students to avoid writing long sentences, but we only say this when students bring us a poorly written long sentence. We do not say this when we pick up a newspaper or a magazine and read a 30 word sentence that's well written. So we're going to show you now how to write a good sentence like this by using a formula. The formula is as follows, this green header on the screen and it begins with the words whereas, while and although. Okay, So whereas, while and although. These three words are from the but family. They are synonyms of but and they are used when we are comparing and contrasting. They work very well at the beginning of a sentence and my advice is to put it at the beginning of a sentence because this shows lexical resource and grammatical range and accuracy by the student. Then we go on to iPad usage among males. Usage is a noun form of the verb use, so it's a good one to know. If you use that, let's zoom in on this for a moment, iPad will be used like an adjective, not like a noun. So a common mistake among students is to say iPads usage. That would be wrong. Okay, And we've also used this preposition among. We use among when we're describing things in groups of people. So what groups of people do, we'll say among. So here we're saying among males. And then we say was because this bar char a pie chart is based in 2013, which is in the past. And then we add an adverb quite and the adjective significant. So while iPad usage among males was quite significant, where? Well in maths class, why? It was at 35%, comma, the number of females using them in this class was much lower at 6%. Here we see our old friend the verb ing. Why? Because this is active. When you take up an iPad and tap the screen, that's an active thing, that's an action. So the number of females using. Uh, and we said them in this class. We said in this class because we wanted to avoid repeating maths class. So if we can avoid rep repeating words, we will, though sometimes the words work well in repetition. And we'll see an example of that later. Here we see an adverb and an adjective, and here we have an adverb and an adjective, much lower. We're using the preposition at when we're stating what, where the, the score or the percentage or the temperature or whatever we're measuring is at. Then we'll take the second member of these uh, but link words. We're going to take whereas. So we're saying whereas the use of. So up here we said iPad usage. Now we're saying the use of iPads. Why iPads? We're speaking in general, so we use the plural. So whereas the use of iPads in business classes was rather substantial among girls. Here again we use among because we're talking about this group at 22%. 
comma, usage among boys was significantly lower in these lessons at 22%. And here, usage among, we, we repeated among because it gave a balance be, to show the comparison between the two. But here we use the use of, and here we used usage. Generally speaking, you can use usage without the, because you're speaking in general, and the use of is put in here because it's in between the and of. And the third member of that family is although the percentage of iPad usage among male students was somewhat low, so we often use somewhat rather and quite in the same situation. These are rather formal, so they're good for um, the uh, the report, the, the academic style of the report. So they were somewhat low in English class at 9%. So this sentence is giving a lot of information. It says how low or how high. It's talking about which category. It specifies how much. And it's saying who used it. So in all of that little section there, there's a lot of information. That covers task achievement and lexical resource because it gives a lot of information in a small compact space. Then we say the percentage of female students was even lower here at 4%. I've said here to avoid repeating English class. So it was another noun or pronoun that can go in here to avoid re repeating the earlier object. Good. So was even lower. We often say even lower if something was originally low and then went down lower again. This is another way of saying lower again. Even lower. Okay, and the last one we use whereas again, whereas the number of male students using iPads in geography class was considerably high at 25%, comma, the number of female students in this category was substantially lower at 10%. So again, you see these adverbs substantially, significantly, considerably, and sometimes you see the adjective form substantial and significant. So these are good uh, adverbs and adjectives to practice. Now as you can see these sentences net up to 27 words in the case of this sentence. 27 words out of a 150 uh, word purport is 18% of your sentence done and dusted. 26 words in this one that's 17.3% and then you have 28 words in this one that's 18.7% and here we netted a hefty 30 words which is, as you know is 20% of 150. So again these are well written long sentences so there isn't a problem with them. Now we'd like to jump back uh, to the uh, original uh, pie chart that some of these sentences are based on and we want to copy these sentences over so that we can see the sentence beside the pie chart and check for its accuracy. So while iPad usage among males was quite significant in maths class at 35%, so yep, there we go, 35%, it's the, the males. The number of females using them in class was much lower at 6%. Yep, there we go. Now we have accuracy in our statement. Remember, in any situation, in high school, university or work, you can write beautiful sentences, but they have, will have no value if they are not accurate. So you have to make sure they're accurate. Okay, let's do one more uh, from this category. Uh, whereas the use of iPads in business classes was rather substantial among girls at 22%. Okay, business class, 22%, girls. Usage among boys was significantly lower in these lessons at 6%. Yep, there we go. Everything is in order now. The sentence is well written and it's factually correct. Uh, remember, it's no good writing a really nice sentence if it's not in line with the facts of the graphic, whatever that graphic is. Okay? So, you need to start practicing these. Get an appreciation of words like substantial and among, significantly, and whereas, while, and although. These are very, very important. But critical to the whole process is, of course, the comma. Sometimes students forget the comma, and this sounds really, really bad. So please remember, don't forget your comma in the middle, and you need to get some practice. That's all from me. The very best of luck, and I will see you in the next section.